I was born and reared in Louisiana. I was born in Monroe, Louisiana, which is northeastern Louisiana. Uh, my family moved to Baton Rouge, which is where I grew up, um, went to high school and, and college. And, and, and after college, then I moved on and lived on the East Coast for a while. In terms of family, I am uh, the oldest of three children. I have a sister and a brother, uh, both of whom live in Houston. I started in second grade at the Southern University Laboratory School, which was an elementary and high school located on the campus. And for the purpose of you know, being a, 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 a training ground for people who were majoring in education. And it was a, you know, a good experience. I think we got a good sort of basic academic foundation. Graduated from the Southern University Laboratory School and then went on to, to do four years of college there. After graduating from Southern, then I did go on to graduate school. I attended Columbia University in New York and completed a master's in some, some other advanced study there in French with an emphasis on French literature. Um, after I came to Texas, I did spend some time at the University of Texas School of Public Health. And I think there the real benefit was I got to study, while it was Health Services Administration and statistics and that kind of thing, that has served me well and just kind of, you know, some foundation for a career that has been primarily on the the administrative side of higher education. I did do some teaching, uh, not for a very long time. I would think, oh, I taught at Hampton University in Virginia for one academic year and part-time at Rutgers University. And that kind of ended my teaching career. I then crossed over and I had a brief stint in nonprofit management. My volunteering actually started with an organization that doesn't exist now under its original name, which was the Vocational Guidance Service of Houston, and which is uh, committed, was at that time, to helping people who had obstacles to employment find employment. And that was the first board I chaired in Houston, actually. It's now called Career Recovery Resources. From first grade through college, literally, um, I was always in an institutional setting where you had exposure to the arts. If you had talent, you could, you know, perform or if you're a visual artist, you know, explore that. But everybody had an opportunity to be exposed. My father sang and thought music was just the best thing in the world. And that, you know, young ladies learned to play the piano. So my sister and I took piano lessons. I'm not sure how much we mastered, but we did. But there was, you know, just at the point when I was growing up in very ordinary black families and in school, you got exposed to the arts, and it was considered, you know, important. The arts are about communication. You know, you've got something to, if you're going to perform, or if you want to paint, or you know, whatever, play an instrument. You want somebody though to respond to that. So I'm on the audience side at this point, but I think the fact that I'm willing and you know uh, enjoy doing that has to do with early exposure, and that's exactly what the research shows to get through life, you know, they're, they're challenging moments. I think you have to, it, it's a comfort to feel that you came from somewhere, you're going somewhere, and that you're not alone. So I thank the members of this chapter of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority for this great honor, is to let them know that it means so much to me for several reasons, but a, a, a key reason is the fact that my high school English teacher for, I think, maybe three of the four years of high school was Mrs. Isabel Morgan Herson, who went on to become an international president of, of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority. And she's someone who uh, had great influence on my life, from whom I learned so much, not only because she was a teacher and a great English teacher, but a great role model as a human being. So. Thank you, and I wish that Mrs. Herson were here to see this.